John Norris, president of Amerifleet, has some information on an organization that promotes driver safety. Not only because it's fiscally sound and good business practice, it's also simply and absolutely the right thing to do. A lot of things are new at Amerifleet. Um, uh, one thing that we're particularly interested in at the moment is what has been now an ongoing involvement with uh, an organization called NETS, which is the Network of Employers for Transportation Safety. Uh, an organization that really does a great job of expanding awareness around traffic safety. Um, the members of NETS are uh, uh, really kind of a hall of fame of corporations that are uh, focused on uh, corporate citizenship. Uh, and uh, we're really proud to, to be a part of that board. Um, they contribute in a whole host of ways, uh, do a number of benchmarking studies. Uh, next month, um, uh, we'll be involved in the Drive Safe to Work Week, uh, which is promoted and sponsored by NETS. And uh, you'll hear more about that uh, over the next couple of weeks, so we're excited about that. Um, we just partook in a, uh, in a benchmark study of uh, various safety practices and uh, uh, excited to say that uh, in terms of hiring, training, and vetting uh, drivers, uh, we are amongst best in class and as a matter of fact we'll be presenting our process to the NETS group uh, at next uh, October's meeting. And you know there's a whole host of uh, there's a whole host of reasons why safety is important. It's certainly fiscally uh, sound, it's great business practice, but uh, the thing that we're most excited about is it's just the, absolutely the right thing to do. And uh, that's why we're uh, such, uh, such a strong supporter of, of NETS and we're uh, so excited about what they, what they do. Um, you know, we, uh, we are at any point in time have two to three hundred people on the road. Uh, we'll execute over 60,000 moves, drive 14, 15 million miles uh, in any given year. And uh, we recognize that when we're doing that, uh, we're putting potentially the traveling public at risk. And uh, that's kind of a clinical term. We say traveling public, it's me, it's you, <laughs> it's our wives, it's our family, it's our children, it's the people we care about. Uh, certainly our employees at risk because they spend a lot of time on the road and uh, they're also our family. And the, uh, uh, the reputations and the assets of the, uh, of the people's vehicles that we're moving. So we take this very seriously. It's uh, not only good business practice, but a moral and ethical obligation on our part. And, uh, and so we're proud to be part of uh, NETS and uh, really want to take this opportunity to, to, to let everybody become aware of uh, that fine organization. Information is always very powerful. And uh, one of the great things they do is they provide analysis and, as I mentioned, benchmarking. So anyone that has a serious commitment to safety uh, can measure their uh, uh, accomplishments and their processes against best-in-class benchmarks. And obviously that gives all of us an opportunity to continuously improve. Um, communications is a, is, a, is a key aspect of, of NETS, raising awareness. Um, uh, we've been on the board of NETS, I believe, for about two, two or so years now. Uh, Matt Betts, who works for us, represents uh, NETS and also represents NAFA and AFLA. And he has uh, been a bridge to bring the message of safety and transportation safety into the, into the fleets through, through NAFA local chapter meetings and through events like this. And, uh, and uh, we, we're, we're partaking in, in assisting the communication of these important messages throughout the, throughout the industry. So it makes us feel good about the opportunity to do that.